Okay, welcome back to the Sun Journal of Editorials. I'm Tony Ronzio. Today is uh, Tuesday, September 1st. We're coming back from a short hiatus to bring you um, an editorial, a vidatorial on uh, petition gatherers and the new bill that would allow people who sign petitions for any like um, appeal or some kind of nomination process to take their names off through the Secretary of State's office if they feel they were misled in any way to sign a petition. Now, this is a pretty political bill and there's some discussions about misinformation going around from people who are pro the repeal of tax reform to get people to sign um, to sign petitions and so some Democratic lawmakers have introduced this bill so people can actually take their names off and to me it's a little bit of a logistical nightmare um, trying to go through this process and actually delete names after people sign things but also it kind of absolves people the responsibility for signing something if they don't really understand what they're signing or if they don't you know know all the facts and so I think it's, it's a political bill, first of all, but also something that probably isn't the best idea. I do have an idea, though, for how something that works, and that is if you get proof, like through a video or something like that, that one of these petition gatherers has actually used misinformation to, in their spiel to get people to sign petitions, then their petition should be disqualified and on, on everything not just the signatures that they may have gotten, but every petition that person got disqualified. This will serve two purposes. One, the petition gatherers, signature gatherers are paid by the name. If their petitions get disqualified, they don't get paid. Secondly, the people that hire these folks are there to get these names. And if they have, are getting stuff disqualified, that's an incentive for them to make sure everybody plays right because they need to get those names regardless for the business and for the paycheck. So that's the editorial for uh, September 1st. And if you want to find us, as always, there's lots of places online. Facebook.com slash sunjournal, YouTube.com slash sunjournal, Twitter.com slash sunjournal, plainoldsunjournal.com. And if you want to email me, it's editorialboard at sunjournal.com. And we'll see you tomorrow.